Hey folks, it's Paul Ramsey, and I'm joined by Lois Herman, who is presenting a one-hour seminar at the 2017 NGH convention, Grow a Profitable Hypnotism Business with Zero Advertising Expense. How's about that? I like it. How are you, Lois? I am great. How are you, Paul? Good. Good to have you here. Thank so you. Uh, tell me, what is your current hypnotism practice like? What kind of folks do you work with? What's your clientele like? My client base ranges. I do a lot of work with children, teens, and adults, all ages. I do a lot of work with weight, uh, some smoking, mostly stress, and issues that where people are stuck. I, a lot of people who have a feeling of being stuck, and I help them to break through and find and live the life of their dreams. So I find that um, I have a thriving practice. I am booked out six weeks and a long waiting list, and I don't advertise. I don't advertise. So That's nice. It is. It's great. So I, my presentation, I've given it a couple of times to the guild before. Um, I want to help hypnotists to get their selves out there because people need us. Yes. There's so many people who need us. Yep. And there are secrets to getting yourself out there to get your business growing. Cool. So, um, yeah. I, 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 I want to start asking you, but I don't want to make you give away, uh, you know, what the real content of this is. So we're talking though about, um, we're not talking about advertising. We're talking about, uh, no, no budget. You know, some people say low budget, no budget. We're talking about no budget. We're talking about probably ways in which you can spend your time. That's right. Right. Ways in yes. which you can spend your time. I think that's an important thing. If you're new in the world of hypnotism and it's not just hypnotism, this is business, right? Absolutely. It's business. There's basically two ways you look at, at your business decisions. Is it going to cost me time or is it going to cost me money? And right. sometimes uh, there's no right or wrong, right? Sometimes the appropriate choice is to spend the money and save mm -hmm. your time. And Absolutely. other times um, you want to save your, 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 your money and spend your time. That's exactly so, right. Um, that's what well, we're talking about here, you guys, is getting in. And, and if you're figuring out for yourself, well, look, I just don't have money for an advertising budget. I don't have, I don't have money to do this or that. Then you say, okay, then you need to spend your time. And, right. and Lois can help you do that. Absolutely. Um, give me one quick little story, if you can, Lois, of sort of like a, a learning story or what I like to call a light bulb moment of where you did something or you figured something out in this realm that helped you accelerate your practice and get better results. Can you do that? Can you do that? Yes. So in the way that I grow my clients, it's a lot about personal connection. And when you make personal connections with people, they open up and they start talking about, Oh my gosh, you mean you can help my daughter with her nightmares. You can help my, my college age son to do better with his studies. You can help my mother who's got insomnia. It's that personal connection and it's establishing that trust and learning to get, I'm going to give you ways to get yourself out there so that you can start establishing trust and a foundation for people. Yeah. Because people want to purchase products or services from other people who they know and trust. Absolutely, right? especially mm -hmm. hypnosis. Yeah, they, yeah. They're leery, they're skeptic. They're skeptic and they're, they need, it's a good thing to be because there are people out there who are not um, on the up and up, if you will. So if you put yourself out there and you really come from a place of wanting to help people, people will pick up on that. They'll know yeah. it, they'll realize that and then they will come to you and they will send their friends. Yeah. Uh, so are we, are, are people who come to this, they're going to leave with specific strategies. They're going to live with, they're going to leave with a protocol. What, what, what can you tell them? They're definitely going to leave knowing, um, something that they'll be able to do. They will. Now I come from a corporate training background Ooh, and go. I've been told that I I've given this presentation several times and, and the feedback that I've been given is this needs to be a two hour. You're giving us so much information that I want more. And, mm -hmm. and so you will walk away with absolute tool skills, things that you can do to grow your business. Sweet. All right, you guys, that's it. It's that simple. Look, these one hours, you, 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 you know, you got to put a lot of them on your plate uh, throughout the weekend. Um, and sometimes it's hard to decide. And I always say, 
if I could give advice to my younger self when I got into hypnotism is not to just go to convention. Of course you want to get better in your hypnotism skill set, but if you don't have the skills as a business person, absolutely right, then you can't get people in the door and make a difference in the world. So you need to balance your growing hypnotist skill set time with your growing business skill set time. And this is a great example of that. So if you're, if you're looking to grow your business, this is one of those sessions. Go in, spend an hour with Lois, and learn how you can bring more people through the door without advertising, without spending money. It's just a smart thing to do. Lois, thanks for your time. You're so welcome. Thank you, Paul. All right, we'll see you in August. Take good care.